Many of us probably grew up with the phrase, don't do drugs, everywhere, from posters at schools to just memes. But why exactly? In this video, we will go over specifically what meth is, how it affects our brain, and the damage that this drug can cause. Starting off, let's take a look at what methamphetamine, or meth, actually is. It is classified as a stimulant, a class of drugs that speeds up our brain activity and nervous system, with the most popular stimulant being caffeine. Meth in reasonable doses is occasionally prescribed as a treatment for ADHD, but of course, it is often misused and taken at much higher doses outside of medical uses. So now, how does meth actually work? Our brain uses neurotransmitters as a way to convey messages to our nervous system. For example, acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that stimulates muscle movement, while dopamine is another neurotransmitter that makes you feel pleasure. Taking a closer look at dopamine, it is released whenever we do something that we like or accomplish something. So, when we finish cleaning up our desk, we get a hit of dopamine from our brain, making us feel good about cleaning up after ourselves. These neurotransmitters are reabsorbed after a while, so we aren't always flooded with the same message over and over again. But this is where meth comes in. Not only does meth block this reuptake, causing most of the dopamine to linger around in our body, this drug also stimulates our brain to produce more dopamine, flooding our body with an abnormal amount of it. This is the high that people who take meth feels, this state of euphoria that comes from taking the drug. Eventually, this high goes away, and the dopamine gets reabsorbed by the body again, causing this euphoria to come crashing down. This causes the brain to want that high again, forcing us to take more meth, giving us that dopamine hit again, signifying the start of an addiction. So now, aside from an expensive addiction, what else will meth do to our brain? This drug is made from a variety of toxic substances, such as battery acid and drainage cleaners, which, as you can imagine, won't sit well with our body. The use of meth causes significant amounts of cell death in our nervous system and brain, especially our dopamine transporters. These are responsible for the reuptake of dopamine, as mentioned earlier, to make sure that not too much dopamine is flooding our bodies. So, as meth kills off those transporter cells, more subsequent meth is needed to reach the same high since more of the dopamine stays out of the body. Meth can also go after our circulatory system, damaging and scarring our blood vessels, which can lead to clots and strokes, which are pretty fatal. All of this compounded damage can cause memory loss, mood swings, aggression, decreased reaction time and movement, and lack of attention span, just to name a few. Honestly, it's kind of impressive how just one substance can cause this much harm in our body. And there we have it. Meth is a dangerous stimulant that puts our body in overdrive, like caffeine, but a lot more deadly. It forces our brain to release a tremendous amount of dopamine, leading to addiction, while killing our body slowly, from our brain to our blood vessels. I hope that y'all have learned something interesting today. Thank you for watching, and stay hydrated.